Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today we are going to look at the base setup settings page. It is the first page that you'll configure when you are setting up your clinic. So let's click on the settings or gear icon in the top right header and we will select base setup. The first section is the general section and to edit any of this information you would just click edit here, update the information and you would click uh, save and then a dedicated phone number it has to do with sms and so you'd have to request a de dedicated phone number the next is locations and if i want to add a new location so again we will start you off with the location based on uh, the information that you provide it and so um, i can click on add a new location as an example and so you'd, you'd populate the appropriate information we'll take a look at one that has already been completed um, so I'll take a look at this one here, click into it, and you can see there's a location name and description and then the information about it, about the uh, location itself. Um, if there's a, a business number associated with this, you have some toggle switches in terms of enable this location for billing. And so what this means is if you leave this on and a service is performed at this location, we will use this location to create invoices. If this is turned off, we'll use the information. So if, if I don't turn this on, or if I don't check this box for invoicing, we will use this information on invoicing. And again, if you want to use this on online booking, you'll need to enable this. Um, and then if I go down here, this is insurance information for uh, American clinics and then services offered at this location. So this is offered on the plus and max plan. So if you're on the core plan, you won't have this feature. So I can specifically designate services for um, for specific locations. And then, you know, I just click save. If I were um, changing my locations um, and I was moving to a new location, so let's just say that it was the home as an example, I would I could transfer all the events from this location to this uh, to the home therapy as an example. So that's what the transfer means. The next is the practitioner section. So if you want to add a practitioner, again, you would just click that add new button and fill out the form. And in this case, I have a number of practitioners. So if I click on this, there's a number of things you can do. So these are the permissions that you would set. Clinical note, clinical note access, again, just means uh, who has access to those clinical notes. And that would be set at the practitioner level. Um, if, if it was set to uh, author only being the practitioner who's created the note, they can change the note uh, um, access as well. And the admin always has access to the notes. This is just some online booking settings, so whether they're allowing online booking and so uh, visible or display photo and that sort of thing. And this is bio information. These are scheduling op options for online booking. And again, services performed by this practitioner. And so you would just turn on and off the services that are performed by the practitioner. And then um, there's insurance information. And this again, this has to do with uh, American clinics. So we'll close this. Assistance is very similar to the practitioner. So you just click add new, uh, and add the email address, um, similar to what you would do um, for the practitioner. If I click into the assistant, because I already have one, it's just a permission that you would set. Again, similar to that, what you would have set for your practitioner. The next is the services. Again, we would start you off with some services. Um, and the way it's broken down is these are service categories and these are the services within the um, categories and so if I want to edit the category as an example I can click on this I can rename disable or delete so I can disable this whole section if I wanted to I can click into the, to um, the service which we'll click into in a in a minute here if I wanted to new add sorry if I want to add new services to this um, to this uh, uh, category I can just be click this add physiotherapy to this um, category here um, if I wanted to move a whole category, I can just click and drag and I can move a whole category. If I wanted to resequence these uh, services, I can just resequence. And this is important because this is how it's going to uh, appear um, for online booking. So again, you want to consider the sequencing uh, of the services and categories for online booking. This is where you would do it. So we're going to click into one of these and we'll take a closer look. So there's a category name, the service name and the alternate billing option. So some people request this. So for example, this may say ongoing therapy, but they really, what they want to say is something else. They might want to put, I don't know, acupuncture in here. And this is what the name that will appear on the bill. It won't be ongoing therapy. So you have a field for optional 
um, or sorry, an alternative billing name. And then in this case, it's an appointment because their maximum participants is one. If I were if I were to switch this, but uh, this it's already been used. But when I'm creating my services, I can also create a class, and then I would I would uh, put my maximum participants. If there's taxes set up, I can set a tax on this, and then a description. And then all you would do is add your duration and pricing. And so uh, in this case, um, I've already added a duration of 60 minutes. A recover time just means time after the appointment and the price. Um, and then I would just continue added duration. So this is $100, and if there's a default tax on there, there, there is no tax. It would be calculating this, uh, it would do the calculations to show you what the value would be if I put a tax on here. These are the practitioners and the locations that this service is um, um, offered at. And again, you can manage this. So you can either manage this at the practitioner in the location, or you can manage it um, within the service itself. And so I can manage, uh, you know, these are the locations and these are the practitioner locations that I have. And if I wanted to add um, another duration, so this is 60 minutes, I just click add duration and it's going to just uh, duplicate this and I'm just going to put my duration and recovery time as an example. These are web portal settings here, whether you want to show this in the portal um, and you can upload an image as well um, for the portal. The next section is online booking and if it, you want the service to be available for online booking, this is the booking method. So you have book uh, through online methods or call to book, text to book or email to book and that would appear again in the portal there's a um, payment policy so in this case i want you to use the clinic's payment policy so they accept credit card payments and there's no payment or credit card required i can change that so i can change it to a full payment is required at the time of booking if i want to show the price including tax or excluding the tax or don't show the price uh, i have that option as well and then we have something called booking labels and so you can either rest restrict uh, someone from booking or sorry they require to have this label so we have a concept of labels that you can create within the clinic and so for example they would be required to have a, a premium guest label in order to book the service or you can uh, deny a label so if you put a label on here um, not allowed to book and they have this label associated to their profile they would not be able to book this appointment or they're required to have the label to book the appointment and again these are features that you need in the plus or max plan and then we have form automation so if i want to send a physiotherapy intake form immediate uh, i can send it out immediately or with the email reminder and i can also include don't send this um, send the form if the client already has a form outstanding or completed so i can send this um, so if it's so for example uh, the physiotherapy intake, if they already have one, it's not going to send it over and over and over again. So you have that option and then you would just click save to update those values. So those are the services. Products are very similar to the services where you would add new, the category and the product type. If you wanted to uh, add fees, so I added, even though it's, it's not technically a product, but if you want to add fees to an invoice, you would do it in this manner. These are all my fees. And again, you would add it similar to as you did services. And then we have something called restricted access, meaning that I can put, so for example, um, here's a, a home for uh, a home IP address. And if one of your therapists, you can have all your therapists in here and you can get their home IP addresses and they would only be able to log in uh, at their home IP addresses, or I can put the office IP address in here and they'd only be able to log in at the office IP address. And so you can restrict it by IP addresses if you wanted to do that. Um, there's just some caution around this because if their IP address changes and the admin is not around to update this. So for example, if you're using the office IP address and um, the admin is not there and the IP address changes. So for example, maybe a power outage and the IP address gets updated. No one in the clinic would be able to access if uh, the IP address changed and the admin wasn't there to update the IP address. So just be aware of this restricted access and these are activity logs. So if you want access logs or you want to request activity logs, you can do that um, as well through the base setup. So that's it for the base setup page. So thank you for watching and please, cl please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.